All right, everybody, hope you're doing well. Uh, today I got another cool video. I know I'm doing back-to-back -back videos, but I got a bunch of stuff done last night, so I had a night off for once. Um, I recently got this back in my collection. Uh, my buddy and I sort of did some trading, and uh, I uh, ended up trading this to him. He kept it in really nice shape, and then, um, like just last night, he came over and I traded back uh, for some stuff for this. This is my uh, Cimarron Uberti Production uh, 1858 New Model Navy. This is a smokeless powder gun, so it's not black powder. It's in 38 Special. It's really, really cool. Um, it's a big iron. It's an actual big iron. So um, I had made this holster for it because I did carry it for a long time. And now this is reversed, so this is a southpaw. So this is actually my left side, because um, I draw and shoot my pistols. Uh, I'm left eye dominant, so I shoot them left-handed. Um, so if you're like thinking this is right my right side, this is my left side. It's my heart. So um, I did this holster for it, and it's just a simple snap holster grab. Um, I did all the stitching and everything. Um, so here's the gun. I just oiled it, so if it looks really oily, don't worry. Um, like I said, it is a big iron. This is model after the 1858 New Model Navy. It's got an octagon barrel about 8 inches long. Holds 6 rounds if you load the cylinder immediately and fire it, but uh, Cowboy carrying, I think, is five rounds. So, and that's sort of the safe way with the hammer down on an empty cylinder. But yeah, um, trigger is amazing in this gun. Uh, it's really smooth. The action is very nice. Um, just like clockwork. Um, it reloads kind of slow, which is something I'm going to actually modify at some point. I'm going to get a hold of a gunsmith who works on cowboy guns modify this so it'll have a spring-loaded ejector kind of like the single action army because this ejector right here in order to change in order to eject shells out of here now obviously you have to do half cock pop the loading gate open and then you know one at a time drop them out but i was thinking at some point i could get a gunsmith to do this where i don't have to open this load this uh, uh ramrod anymore and move this ejector because that's how you eject the shells now you individually pump them out at one at a time what I could do is right here you get a spring loaded uh, plunger and actually have something that I could just shove really fast and so rotate shove rotate shove instead of rotate shove not spring assisted I think it, if it was spring assisted it'd be pretty much perfect so I'll figure something out in the future um, it's a, just a little project, but I'll do it in a classy sort of not really, you know, you'd have to look at it to see uh, kind of way. Because um, this is a gun I like to shoot, and I want it to be more functional, and I don't want it to take away from the aesthetics, but that that ejecting rod is just ridiculous. It's, it's not spring-assisted like the single-action army is. It's just an inferior design. I know why they changed. But overall, I just... This is probably my favorite, aesthetically speaking, type of uh, Civil War revolver. These are just amazingly beautiful to me. The lines are so beautiful. Um, I just, when I saw it, I had to have one. This is this is the type of gun I would carry if I were in the, uh, you know, the Old West or the Civil War. Um, I know that you could get uh, replacement cylinders and just pop them out real fast. Um, that's another thing. But for me, just having the one having it timed correctly, I would just prefer to change this ejector rod into a spring-loaded affair. So when I'm reloading, I could just go and then turn it, turn it, like click, turn, you know, push, click, push, click. So that way, um, it'd be extra fast. I could just load, load a shell, eject a shell, load a shell, eject a shell, load a shell. Um, it is 38 special, so that's a 38 caliber. Um, and uh, just the machining, everything, the quality of this gun is amazing. The bluing is absolutely perfect, spotless. 
You can see the um, sight's actually really nice. You can only see the sight when you have it cocked. But... So it's actually a pretty deep groove for the uh, time period. Ah, uh, there it is. I had it a half cock, sorry. So, there's the front sight, and lower it down. There's a sight picture. So not, not bad compared to like modern concealed carry guns or whatever. Um, but like I said, I got this mainly for um, the fact that it was smokeless powder. So it's a legitimate like, you know, carry gun. I mean, modern firearm, but um, I can still, you know, carry it and not be sort of a, not have it be sort of a meme. It is a meme, the big iron on his hip, but I'm actually, this is the personification of that um, actual use. And if I, you know, run out of shells or whatever, I can flip this thing around and use it as a club in a defensive situation, because it's steel and wood, baby. So, um, just really beautiful fit and finish. I mean, Cimarron, or Uberti, who's the ones who made this, did a really good job. So, Cimarron sells these. Uberti produces them. 1858, new model Navy, 38 special smokeless powder. Just a gorgeous cowboy gun. And one I do carry. I did carry it a lot before I kind of traded it off. Um, now that it's back in my collection, I'm super happy. I can't wait to carry it around again. It's like a like, I always loved those old West movies. And when I was a kid, I would watch them with my poppy, my grandpa. And uh, just to be able to actually have one on my hip is like, cool. In any case, if I do get in a crazy situation, if I expel all these cartridges, I have a backup, you know, concealed carry gun. So and I'm not worried about like, oh crap, I'm gonna run out of bullets or whatever. Like I said, if I do run out though, I'll just flip this thing around, clunk, so. Anyways, that's this um, package I put together, 1858, new model Navy. And you can kind of see the knot work sort of matches mine. But yeah, just a, I love this gun, man. I really love this gun. Um, yeah, beautiful case hardening on the hammer. Again, it's really oily because I keep it oiled because it's in this like I, I lined this with suede, so I like to have the suede really oiled so that when I reholster the gun, uh, the mineral oil will protect the um, handgun. And then I just wax the grip panels and the uh, handle spur. So I guess not the handle spur. I guess that's the tang. It's a full tang gun. So yeah. Um, if you want to look up the history of like the new model Navy, these were excellent service pistols, uh, widely widely regarded as some of the best handguns at, of their day. Um, and uh, yeah, so it's cool to have a smokeless powder one, so I don't have to like daughter's playing, I guess ghost in there, but um, so I don't have to throw this in a bathtub and like wash this out. Um, this is I just clean this like a regular modern handgun, so. Anyways, with that said, hope you have a good day. Talk to you later.